Let's cover the slip and slide editing techniques. I'm going to show you the method to use the mouth and then how to use the keyboard. Actually, with the keyboard is much more interesting. Select your trim edit mode. And if you come over a clip, you hover over a clip, any clip, on the upper part, when you are in the edit trim mode, you will see the mouse is like a you know fancy shape with two arrows and so on. On the lower part, it has another shape. Now, if you click, you have selected the clip, but also notice you have selected the in and power point of this clip. If you start going left or right, you will be slipping the content of the clip. You can think about it like slipping the content in between the in and out point. Okay, guys? So actually, you're changing the content of this clip. In the monitor, you have a four up. On the top row, you can see the in and out point of the clip you are slipping. On the lower part, you can see the up point of the incoming clip. That's the one on the left. And you can see the in point of the clip on the right or the outgoing clip. Okay? That's very cool. Of course, they don't move. So now you're doing a slip. You're changing the content of the clip. And it's very important because sometimes you really want to use it. Now notice the duration of the clip is not changing at all. It's only its content that's changing in between the in and out point. Now, if you come to the lower part and you click, you can drag left and right. Now you are doing a slide. Okay, that's pretty interesting. You're adjusting the in and out point. In the monitor, you have a four up. On the top row, still you see the in and point of the clip you are sliding now. Okay? And then on the bottom row, on the left, you will see the out point of the incoming clip, the one that is on the left, and the in point of the outgoing clip, the one on the right. Okay? And then you can adjust your content. Let's use the keyboard. If you come to the trim menu, you will see here toggle slip slide mode and the shortcut is s and also we are going to use the nudging here now notice what's happening over here if i press s it will change from slip to slide and vice versa now this is the slide mode if you right click you will see it's slide if you press s it's slip mode okay so you can change modes let's select this clip and use the nudging now it's in the slide mode. If I use the period and the comma, period will take me to the right. So it's sliding on the right and comma is sliding on the left. Now, if you press S and use the nudging shortcut, the period and comma, then notice now you are nudging to the right or you are nudging to the left. You notice very well that the duration of the clip is not changing in the timeline. Now, let's select an extremity clip where you have a gap over here. If you right click, you will see you are in the slide mode. Let's put it in the slip mode first and use the nudging, comma and period. If you, I go period, notice what's happening here. It is changing the content of the clip and I have the four up showing me the in and out point of the selected clip. That's very easy. And of course, on the lower side, I'm seeing the out point of the incoming clip. That's the clip before. Also, I see black because of the gap over here. Now, you can press S and change from slip to slide. If you want to see it, you can wait a second. It's slide now or right click, it's slide. And if you start sliding here using the nudges, it's nudging the clip to the left and it's nudging it to the right. Of course, you can use shift period, for example, you nudge it to the right and shift comma, you will nudge it to the left with five frames at a time. Cool, guys. So this is pretty interesting and pretty powerful. And this is how you do slip and slide. Thank you very much for listening. I hope this was very useful. I'll see you in the next lecture.